Welcome to Good Mythical More. Our journey into the world of optical illusions continues in the world of film. We're going to be showing film? a still image from a film. And we're going to have to decide if it's, if it's uh, a real location or if it was just built like a set. I love the idea of this game. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Hype! Okay, uh, you know what we're doing to celebrate the Mythical Society's fourth anniversary. The society members themselves selected the charity um, and we are giving $1,000 to Black Women for Wellness to aid in their mission to be committed to the health and well-being of black women and girls through health education, empowerment, and advocacy. Please join us in giving at bwwla.org. Thanks for being your mythical best, and thank you, Mythical Society, for your thoughtful deliberation and selection. Okay, boy. I had to sneeze. Excuse oh, me. Oh, let's wait for that. Nope. Silent. Not gonna happen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you photos, stills from films. You're gonna guess were these built sets or were they real locations? Okay. Starting with the HQ building from Ghostbusters. This is real. It really feels like there's no reason for this not to be real. Right. I mean, it's um, you, you, it's an old firehouse as it was in the movie. However. You can't really take over a firehouse in New York City. It would have to be a defunct one in order to take over and use, right? Well, I know Anderson Cooper's house was, is a converted firehouse. Uh, yep, exactly. I've, I've walked right past it. We took a, a food, food tour. tour through Greenwich Village. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Back in the day. I know it goes against all logic, because why wouldn't you just use a building? But I think it has something to do with the fact that it's a firehouse, and they and they and, it, and they were just like, you know what? We're going to build this here in this in this area. I think that it is a set. It's real. Real. It's at yes. fourteen North Moore Street in New York City. And what is it now? It hasn't changed since its appearance in the film. It unclear. I think it's probably just a, a sitting building and not an operating. Oh no, David's very sure that it is an operating firehouse. It is. And look at that Saab down in the lower left. That that vehicle, the black vehicle. That Saab. is Saab. Saab. Turbo do, Saab. Do Saabs still exist? Uh, we had a friend who was actually in the Wax Paper Dogs, Eric, who drove a Saab. He had a red Saab. And in my family, whenever we said saw a Saab, we said Saab, turbo Saab, because there was this time, we were on vacation, and a guy got into one of these Saabs, and my dad was like, what kind of car is that? And he said, Saab, turbo Saab. And so. Do they still exist? It was just one of those things my family always said. Yeah, is Saab still around? S-A-A-B. No. They don't make Saabs? Yeah, I think about Saab every few years. What is Saab called now? Down there? Do we have it no, about no, no. Saturns? I also remember it, but I'm... Saturns definitely don't The company's get called I think Nibs. we had this conversation, but it was about Saturn. National yeah. Electric Vehicle Sweden? Chinese-Swedish company purchased Saab's assets in 2012 and has just begun production of a rebadged 93 sedan it's a new factory in China. That was in 2017, though. Oh. What I'm reading about. Saab is officially back as a new electric car. Oh, that was 2017. Well, maybe they, maybe things slowed. Maybe they got swallowed up in the supply chain. Okay. Next. The Temple of the Sun from Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. Oh, that's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in Jordan. That's a real place. That's um. Oh, I want to go there. It's isn't called, that amazing? It's called. Mm, 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 mm. What's it called? It's called. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Petra. I think it's. I think it's called facade. Petra. You are completely correct. Uh, man, I want to go there. Wouldn't that? And when you go inside, what's actually in there? I don't know how deep it goes. Inside Petra. It's actually a operating firehouse. Yes, right, exactly. So, um, one of the most elaborate temples in Petra, a city of the Nabidian kingdom. Oh, so Petra's the city. Mm hmm. 
is this is a one, an elaborate temple. As with most other buildings in this ancient town, including the monastery, this structure was carved out of the sandstone rock face, believed to have been the mausoleum of the Nabidian king Aretas V Ninth wow. in the first century AD. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in both Jordan and the region. So Jordan, okay, so you know if you're on That's the Instagram, cool. like many people are. Scroll that. And you get shown these very like amazing locations. And then if you start clicking on them, <laughs> you keep clicking on them and then they know Instagram knows that oh, this guy likes to see exotic hotels that he'll never go to. Um mm -hmm. there is a hotel, I believe that it's in Jordan, and it they just basically built these domed bungalows in the desert. I think it's near Petra. Where you basically are, your hotel room is like got some glass in it, but like you have your own like dome. It, it's one of those things that like looks incredible on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you like wake up and you're like in the desert and oh, here we go. Here we go. No. Well, those aren't domes. Those are. Th those are, what do you call those? Uh, there's a name for those. So that's not it. So maybe there's. The one that I saw was that's like, cool. it looked like. That's cool. Even nicer than that, but anyway, it's like, oh, the Seven Winters Luxury Camp. Maybe it was just a very Instagrammy picture that made it seem even better than that. But yeah, yeah so it's like, if you, cause, cause Petra, because that yeah. temple is one of the Seven Winters of the world, right? So you go to the Bubble Lux Hotel and you stay there and then you go into, we gotta go, man. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta do it, man. We gotta do it, Bubble Boys. Let's stay in all the man. bubbles around the That's world, us. dude. It's a five-star hotel. Let's see the next one, Stevie. 2017 live-action Beauty and the Beast film. This missed is Bell's that one. Village. Yeah, just just missed it by a hair. Was Bell's Village real or fake? There's a lot of Disney money, and you. That's got to be. I mean, they they built that crap. They built that. Crap. The reason oh. why they built it is. Uh, to control the sound. It is built, but the reason why they built it is because it was too expensive to shoot in southern France where this village was modeled after. So they recreated it at wow. Shepperton Studios in the UK. It was more expensive oh. to actually use the location to like shut that place down. Wow. We went to a place in France uh, for a day that was like an hour drive from Cannes, and it was a completely contained walled city. St. Paul was the name of it. Look up St. Paul, France. So look at this thing. Look at some cool images. St. Like, Paul de Vence. So if you go to, so this this is this whole city was built all together in this wall, and then. We ate snails there. And now if you. We then, left our wives and we sat on the edge and drank a beer. I had a my I was I didn't having really have a good time. Really well, I was having horrible allergies that day, and I sat there and it was one of those my allergies were so bad and I could not get my nose to stop running. I just didn't enjoy it. I don't know. It was a little too touristy because it's so unique and like so picturesque that there's just a bunch of people there just to, you know, just to walk around and, and buy French stuff. You know, like I kind of want to go back we did into the snails. like the old days and walk through here and see somebody like pushing like a pile of plague-ridden bodies on a gurney. Yeah, for real. But, you know, you don't get that. You get like somebody selling you something. You know, my dad, he goes all over the place and then he tells me about it on a podcast. Quite Dispatches a, from Myrtle Beach. He's quite a traveler. Uh, yeah. I hope yeah. I'm doing that at that age. Yeah, he went, he goes. Constantly gone somewhere. He wants to go to Alaska next. He keeps talking <sighs> to me about going to Alaska. And he's doing it on the show so that like, you know, Myrtle Beasts, as he calls them. Ooh, that's we'll, good. We'll come out that was waiting work. to happen. Yeah, <laughs> you're not a you're not an avid listener of our show, apparently. Uh, you know, I get, <laughs> I, I listen to about it's every fine. fourth episode. It's fine, but um, I'm busy, man. Yeah, he he wants to go to Alaska, but maybe I can talk him into going to this boring city in France instead. Alaska would be a yeah, is, cool is, is a cool vacation. Alaska is a cool city. <laughs> Uh, how about Wes Anderson's 2014 film, The Grand Budapest Hotel? Oh, and what I was trying to say was watch Dispatches from Myrtle Beach on the YouTube channel. It comes out every Thursday. Uh, subscribe to Dispatches from Myrtle Beach on YouTube. Watch my dad talk to me. 
So fun. Laid back. It's real, man. Uh, I think I watched behind the scenes yeah. for Shepard yes. and I watched this. We Shepard and I went through a phase where we I was showing him all of Wes Anderson's movies, and then after the movie, we would like read about them. We also have a book in our office that I think explains this. The only thing that Wes Anderson builds are like you'll know it because it's all cross sections. The beginning of a movie when he's going from room to room, like at the beginning of. Uh, uh, the one about yeah. the Boy Scout. In Steve wow. Zizou, it's not at the beginning. It's like, it's kind of cool because yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, it happens the kind of in the middle, but. Um, you guys know, you know so much about Wes Anderson film, how he, how he you know, shoots everything. You have the book and you watch all the behind the scenes. So yeah, it's fake. <laughs> um, he. Hold on, that hotel, the exterior shots are real. Well, that's not what you're looking at, and I don't know that answer. That's built, huh? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't transform a real hotel into what he wanted with the budget he had, so they found an abandoned department store that production designer Adam Stockhausen could completely transform into the interior of a hotel. Okay. So that's not real marble. The interior, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I think I, I, think I it, remember yeah, that from behind the scenes. Let's see what the Grand Budapest Hotel exterior is and where it is. It's a it's miniature? A miniature? Yeah. I have been so deceived. <laughs> we didn't watch anything about behind the scenes for this apparently. <laughs> well, we watched all of them in a matter of weeks, so I got confused, I guess. Wow. Hmm. People love that one. You it's, can go it's to not, the Shining It's not hotel. in my That's top real. four Wes Anderson films. You don't like Grand Budapest Hotel? I like it, but I wouldn't put it in my top four. I, we have you watched it in the past five years? Mm, yes. The first time I watched it, I was like, I watched it twice and uh, it got better. I this is not doing it for me. The second time, just loved it. I loved it. It. I mean, I'm sure it could keep growing on me, but and then it started, instead, let's just talk about another one. And then it started getting like not cool to like Wes Anderson films. Well, we're still yeah, it's kind of tropish for like, because these it is it middle aged white guys in in what where do you say in Italy? Genoa. Genoa. Yeah, I do know. Mm -hmm. Self indulgent middle aged white guys with too 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 high budgets for their movie. Mm hmm. Yeah. And too much. Emphasis on aesthetic symmetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so tired. <clears throat> uh, 1985, 85, <laughs> classic, The Goonies. And the uh, kids explore a huge pirate ship in one of the final scenes. Was oh, that's this real or fake? Definitely it's real. Shipwreck. real. <laughs> how could it be real? Nah, man, that's a fake set. And I wish I could go there. Yeah, how could it be? There's no way it could be real. I love Tell me this is real, Stevie. It's not real, but it took two and a half months to build and was 105 feet long. Good gosh. And the director kept the sh ship a secret from the cast until it was complete. Oh! Some of the rigging was later used for Pirates of the Caribbean. Ship ride at mm -hmm. Disneyland. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have loved to see that reveal. Some of the rigging. <laughs> Look at the cast of Goonies. You built a boat! You finally got the Steven Spielberg. Did this he... is a movie! Uh, have you ever been just Were they like- filming them? Have you ever been like out, outside at night? I don't know if this nope. is something that any anybody else can relate to. Don't make a habit of it. And you suddenly get this feeling that you like- You need to go back inside? Something catches your Hell eye yeah. and you're like, I feel like I'm on a, a movie set. No. Does that ever happen? What? Yeah, 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 y'all know, yeah, you know. You know. Something catches your eye and you just feel like, like you're on a movie. It'll show? be like late at night and you'll be like in a small town and there's like not that many people there and there's like two street lights and you're like, this feels like a set. I feel like I'm on a set. Because no one's around. And then I start, when I feel like I'm on a set, I start doing the robot. <laughs> uh, I start doing a really bad version of the robot when I feel like I'm on a set. It just happens to me like a couple times a year. I just love it. That was very Conan O'Brien of you. I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking for opportunities to feel like I'm on a set. It always happens at night because it's got to be quiet and the lighting's got to be right. Yeah, yeah. That, that has happened to me once. It's called your main character moment. Your main character moment. Yeah. KG calls it her main character moment. Yes, and then you do a little song and dance. Or the robot. 
Or because yeah, it's I, I have a robot song, but I keep that to myself. That's for me. Yeah, sing it. Sing oh, it. No, no, it's not for y'all. It's my character <laughs> moment. I'm main, a robot. Main character <laughs> moment, man. <clears throat> uh, <coughs> in Men in Black 2, Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, <laughs> uh, they go yeah, thanks, to thanks a locker. Thanks for specifying. They go to a locker in Grand Central Station filled with a world of tiny aliens. Did they actually film in Grand Central? I certainly hope so. It looks just Definitely. like it. Definitely. It Definitely. looks just like it. And people film in Grand Central. That's a thing that's done. Yeah. It's real. And they wow. also filmed in Central Park, Rose Center, and famous Ben's Pizza of Soho. Wow. Great mm. uh, facts. What does, okay. it cost, what does it cost to rent out Grand Central? You, you know what? This is not going anywhere. Go to the next one. <laughs> What does it um, cost to rent out Grand Central? You can move to the next one, I just want to know. Guillermo del Toro's 2015 gothic romance film Crimson Peak was known for the gorgeous gothic manor called Allerdale what? Hall. Who, can we go, who's let's film? Go, let's go back to Grand Central. Guillermo del Toro? And what's it called? Crimson Peak? How did I miss this? Was this good? I. It's yeah. beautiful. It's scary. Creepy. Creepy, but not scary. That's Guillermo del Toro, man. Man. I think you should get into him. Well. Hellboy? No, I love Guillermo. Um, but can I say something? You, I see a house like this, which I believe is not real, but I want it to be real, and I would love to live in a house that looks it's like so this. Str- How could that be real? I, 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 hope, I hope it's real. I hope it's real because I want to know that this was this was repurposed. And my, the first my wife hates it. She's like, why, you, why do you like these creepy like Second Empire with all these like tapestries, details and stuff? I mean, you can't winding like, stairs. You, you can't fi- like if you want to do like a uh, if you want to do something like oh, I want a house that has these like sort of details like. There's like a couple of builders in the in the world that are capable of doing something that's just a not great approximation of the way they used to build things. Like if you wanted something like that, you got you got to go find it. It just doesn't it, it just they don't make it. You looked into it. I have this like dream of building like a really creepy second empire home somewhere on some land and then making it into a thing where like People show up and it's like they're kind of in a game. <laughs> like you want to be, and I come out and do the robot. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, a janky version of the Glass Onion. I gotta be honest with you that like that movie and what Ed Norton's character was doing, I was like, he's kind of doing my idea. <laughs> like it's like a murder mystery at this place that you've built. and you That just place invi- was you, for sale. You just like invite the people. $300 that, million. Dollars. You invite people that you love, but you also make it available just like, oh, some people can just pay like, hey, you want to rent this thing out? We've got this game like murder mystery thing, but it's this crazy property and you might actually get hurt or die and you have to sign a waiver. It's not like a Disney thing where everybody's safe. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody might get hurt. That's kind of It's kind of like what our creative house is, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like a cactus that's made out of purse material. Yeah, I've gotten poked on. Is it real? It's fake. So I was thinking like, man, it's so dark because these houses, I guess, are typically pretty dark, but also it's fake. So (laughs) you don't want a lot of windows there because then you have to light all of them. Yeah. Right. Um, Right. They built the whole, it says they built the whole house from the ground up. Wow. And they built a mansion with three fully functioning floors that took seven months to build. So where is it? Seven thing? months is kind of miraculously short. Yeah. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Where is that? Let's go. If visit. they took the time to build that, is there somebody that like keeps it up? I really hope so. Neo Gothic architecture facade. Oh, the lock and key house. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it was dismantled. <sighs> Why? It's nowhere. It's nowhere. It's where, nowhere. Where are the parks? Can we can we reassemble it in the parking lot? Just like us, when you click away, we'll be nowhere. 
Check out my dad's podcast with me. Dispatches from Myrtle Beach is on YouTube with new videos every Thursday. Subscribe at youtube.com slash dispatches from Myrtle Beach.